Well, uh, thanks, Ben, for sitting down with me. Yep. It's going to be kind of a bittersweet, you know, saying goodbye. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, Ben is uh, one of my patients who's being discharged today. Um, and we want, just want to talk a little bit about his, his successes here. So I'll, I'll kind of start out the story. Um, I got this call now about a year and a half ago, I think, um, asking if I've ever heard, seen anybody with this RDLP surgery. And my answer was no, but I don't think anybody else in El Paso has either. But I have definitely seen some difficult um, abdominal type surgeries and, and been successful in rehabbing. So um, I said, you know, send him my way. We'll we'll take care of him. So you want to talk a little bit about your 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 story with that with the surgery? Yeah. So I uh, I was on my third appointment and some medical things had occurred, and then I was sent to the local. Uh, country's hospital got a scan and a few hours later uh, the doctors pulled me back in when I got back to the base and they said uh, you have cancer so instantly I was uh, no longer able to be on deployment can't have cancer when you're on deployment no. and uh, so then I started the evacuation process I went to Lonsville Germany for five days and then I was rushed to Walshery Naval or Walshery National Medical Center in DC, where I first underwent uh, a radical inguinal orchotomy, and then two about a month. A month later, the test results came back, and it said that the cancer was spreading. So then they said you can have a surgery or you can do chemo, and I didn't want to do chemo. So then I went into the surgery, which is the RPLND. Uh, it was about a nine or ten hour, I think I said. Something like that. Yeah, I had my entire stomach cut open, everything taken out. They went after the lymph nodes and uh, massive recovery. And about four months later, I ended up back here in El Paso trying to figure out a doctor who knew how to rehab me. Yep, so um, so we did. We had to figure it out. I was in communication with, uh, with Walter Reed about you know what the, what the protocol is, what do we need to do. Um, so essentially, you know, Ben just had his, you know, has his major zipper down his front, pretty much literally, you know, opened up. So a lot of trauma to the abdominal uh, wall, to the abdominal muscles, and, and that was really the biggest precaution on, on getting in rehab. So, um, you know, he was very weak when he came in, like had no abdominal strength whatsoever, um, and just everything else was weak too, super tight and a lot of muscles, so it was, a lot, you know, a lot of work. Um, now we did have some complications in the process, right? Yeah. So, what are we, month three, month two? Yeah, I think month two. Yeah, I think we're just at the end of month two. And uh, I got put in the hospital for a stomach kink. So, during that time, I was in the hospital for a week, and uh, Harry was pretty concerned that he caused it, but he didn't. Uh, we were concerned of a, uh, was it a hernia? Mm -hmm. Was our biggest Yeah, because that's, that's the biggest concern anyway. Yeah, with the surgery. Yeah, and um, but no, it wasn't wasn't hernia. Harry didn't cause anything. Um, no, I had a kink from the muscles resealing, uh, which is natural actually. And uh, during that, they were scanning the stomach, and they found two tumors that had metastasized from the groin area that went all the way up to the lungs. And we were, I was actually here at Edgemere when I had to tell you like, yeah, uh, the cancer came back. So I went from stage one to stage three, and then about two weeks after that, went back to Walter Reed. Uh, I went through three rounds of chemo, which was roughly about 11 weeks. And then I did a pretty big recovery process there for the immune system. And then I think, what was it? I, so that was from January, February, March, April, May until October 22nd of 21. And then, uh, yeah, and then when I got back, I think two days later, I called Harry and I was like, hey, I'm back. And I was like, can we go back to doing what you're doing? Yeah, of course, absolutely. I was so glad to see you back on the schedule because when we see a patient leave like that, who knows what's going to happen. So, yeah, you know, awesome to get you back. And we kind of had to you know, reset a little bit, but, yeah. um, you know, went back into the rehab you know, program. And now we're about five, five, six months later, you know, five months, yeah. probably five months later. And um, I can tell you, Ben just went through a you know, pretty rigorous exercise program today that uh, I know I couldn't complete, and you know most of my patients couldn't complete that. So um, I think you've done you know awesomely well. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely challenging because like when I first came here, what it was just treadmill work, 
and like stretching. Yeah, well, you, you weren't even allowed to run yet. And I, <laughs> I remember that they, you know, they had kind of predicted you wouldn't run for months, right? Like yeah. five months out or something like that. Well, that's, that's crazy. The doctor lets us. We're, we're going to get you back to that sooner. Yeah, um, which was a bigger, bigger reason of being thankful that I got here was a lot of the doctors in El Paso area, they, they were so scared to push me. And they were saying seven, eight, nine months of running time. And I was like, I don't have that time. And when I met with you, you're like, no, we're going to use it in like four months. And then, uh, yeah, walking. And now I think I was running, what, 18, 19 minutes per exercise now. Mm-hmm. And doing about eight or five to 10 days. So really yeah, good. the improvement has been tremendous. Yeah. So it's been so much fun working, yeah, working with you. So, you know, just kind of summarize. So difficult surgery, you know, a lot of people didn't really want to want to work with you. And I said, you know, let's take it on. I love challenges. So yeah, and I think uh, I think the nearest city that does that surgery is Houston. And I, I know that El Paso doesn't do the surgery. No. It's and, it's a very rare rare surgery. So yeah, and I think DC, Los Angeles, Houston, New York, and probably Chicago are probably the only spots to do that. Yep. So, but you know, I'm, I'm extremely thankful that Tricare and Everybody was able to get me to uh, Dr. Costner here at Spina Rehab and especially at all of your facilities that you have because like the first time I lived over here and then uh, the second time I came back I moved but like just being able to go to different facilities or if I was running late uh, just swapping facility within 10 minutes it was super easy to work with. I think our whole team it, it, for us it's a, it's a team team effort. Right? It doesn't matter who you see we all uh, we all abuse our patients equally. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've seen every physical therapist that you have and every tech that you've had for the past year. Probably, yeah, probably just about. So yeah, so it's been awesome working with you, Ben. So yeah, thank well, you, thank you again for all the work that you and your guys and your team has done. Yep. Want to wish you good luck. Thank you. I all appreciate right. it.